The man once dubbed the world's most eligible bachelor just officially tied the knot in a civil ceremony. But George Clooney and his Russian bride already said I do in a symbolic wedding ceremony this past weekend. The actor and Mrs. Clooney, a.k.a. Amal Alamuddin, glowed with happiness yesterday after their star-studded nuptials in Venice, Italy. Alamuddin wore her wedding ring, which appears to be a slim diamond eternity band. The pair married Saturday evening at an informal private ceremony at the Seven Star Amman Hotel. They exchanged vows they wrote themselves. The Grand Canal was turned into an aquatic red carpet earlier in the day as high-profile guests arrived, including Bono, Clooney's acting pals Matt Damon, Emily Blunt and John Krasinski, Bill Murray, hey, Bill. Love me. Cindy Crawford, and even Vogue editor-in-chief Anna Wintour. Cameras caught Clooney on his final ride as a bachelor on his way to the ceremony. Before the wedding, the couple and their guests celebrated in lavish style beginning on Friday night with separate bachelor and bachelorette parties. When bride-to-be, Alamuddin was spotted in a striking red evening dress. An official legal ceremony for the Oscar winner and his human rights lawyer bride took place today at Venice's Town Hall. A legend was remembered this weekend as Robin Williams' memorial was held at the Koran Theater in San Francisco. Hundreds of guests turned out to honor the late comedian and actor, including Whippy Goldberg, Ben Stiller, Joel McHale, and George Lucas. Williams' longtime pal Billy Crystal opened the memorial. Williams took his own life August 11th at the age of 63. His love for his family and community, as well as his acting genius, was honored at Saturday's event. Also, also this weekend, Canadian Will Arnett used comedy for a good cause, proving that laughter really is the best medicine. Arnett was an MC at a comedy gala in support of his hometown's Toronto East General Hospital. So you have a history with this organization. Tell us how you got involved. It's always been something that I guess we've, you know, believed in. Uh, you know, such a great community hospital that, that really deserves attention. The sold-out affair raised $2.5 million and featured a performance by award-winning comedian Chris Rock. Before the big show, Arnett got to fulfill a lifelong dream hitting the ice with his favorite hockey team. For you growing up as a Leafs fan, what is that? What is it like to be on the Air Canada Centre playing with the Leafs? And, and hockey season's right around the corner. Yeah, I gotta tell you, it was uh, such a thrill. It really was. Uh, that kind of is my zen place. That's my happy really? place. And I actually just went to my happy place. Over to a darker place, City's eerie drama, Hannibal. What am I about to put in my mouth? Rabbit. He should have hopped faster. Fortunately for us, he did not. As the series gears up for season three, Entertainment City caught up with Mads Mikkelsen. He's a very interesting character. Uh, he has so many different faces. And you've said that the character is um, as close to Satan as can possibly be. So how do you wrap your head around that? Very difficult to embrace him as a human being. As a, so for that reason, I think we, we gave him the label the, the fallen angel. Uh, a person that's, that sees beauty what the rest of us sees, sees horror. In that, in that sense, you can kind of go in and, and play him as an actual character. He's just reversed. And tweet us at End City and let us know what you thought about George Clooney's wedding. And tune in tomorrow where we'll exclusively tell you which Canadian rock band is performing at the first NHL game of the season.